what up guys welcome back to another video so in this video i will be showing you exactly step by step how i create a new kamatera remote desktop server okay from start to finish so before we start as always make sure you are in my facebook and telegram group okay i provide a, a lot of value in those groups and you always can ask me questions and other members questions so make sure you are in the groups so before we start the tutorial i want to explain you why do you need a kamatera a remote desktop account or whatever it's called okay you need to understand that if you want to be successful on ebay and and also protect your income you need to have multiple accounts you need to create multiple accounts and as long as you uh, can manage them okay but you want to build uh, as much as possible okay and that is for protecting your income and also increase your uh, income okay because it is really hard to max out only one account which i already explained in my previous videos so this is why we need a Kamatera account to uh, be able to to have multiple accounts running from a different uh, let's say different computers and different IP addresses that eBay will not know that this is uh, this is us. The second reason that you want to have a Kamatera cloud server is because, f for example, uh, there will be a point that you will have virtual assistants. Okay, virtual assistants is really crucial for the success of your business and outsource things. Okay, so. I had a problem with, uh, I, I had a uh, VA from Nigeria and I gave him the access, I trust him and he's a good employee and I gave him the, the password and the username of my eBay account and the problem is that eBay blocked my account and why is that because he is logging in, I was at that, that time I was in Israel and he tried to log in to my eBay account from Nigeria. So eBay, eBay recognized us by the IP address, the let's say the your computer, things like that. So, but the IP address is the most important for like what I think. So, imagine yourself that I'm logging in, I'm every single day from an IP in Israel, and then someone just logging in from Nigeria with the same uh, to my account. So that is a red flag to eBay, and. This is why I, I'm using a Kamatera, a cloud server. So I will be able to give uh, giving access to my virtual assistants without them logging in from different IP addresses and blocking my account and have those kind of issues. So after we cover that, let's get straight to it and I will show you exactly how I create my new cloud servers, uh, cl cloud server on Kamatera. Okay, so what do you want to do? You want First of all, you want to log into your Kamatera account Okay, if you don't have one, just create one. It's, I think you also will uh, receive 30 days free trial. So basically, I'm going to the servers uh, section and you need to click on uh, create new server, okay? We want to create a new server, a new uh, remote desktop for our dropshipping business. Let's say I want to create a new manual store in the UK, so I will choose Europe. Okay, you can also uh, choose, I think, United States. You have uh, three states here and Canada. So I will choose uh, Europe and click on London. Now, what you want to choose is choose desktop operation system images. So we click on that and then you choose Windows. And after that, uh, you will have to choose uh, which Windows version you want. The lowest, the better, okay? Because if you will choose the highest one, the highest version is can make your computer a, a bit slower. So I want the lowest possible version, okay? The oldest version. Um, so after choosing that, I need to choose what type of server I want. So I will be choosing a B. You have here explanations about uh, each and one of them. Um, I just choose B because this is what I use and that works for me. You can go go ahead and choose whatever you want, but it's not really that important. So now it's about the CPU. You want to have one CPU, two CPU. Um, I don't. I will not get uh, in details about it. Okay. You. What I'm choosing, I'm choosing two. Okay, because I don't want the cloud server will be laggy and uh, will uh, get stuck or, or or slow or something like that. And uh, we are paying hourly for our remote desktop so the price difference is really really low 
So we will choose CPU 2 and RAM use 2 gigs of RAM and SSD 30 gigs. Okay, this is my setup. This is what I'm choosing. Okay, you can choose whatever you want and all, all the rest of the things you just don't touch them. Okay, what I want to do right now because I want to show you the prices. So let's create a name for the server and let's create a password. perfect so as you can see right now a uh, commentary gives me like and uh, they offer me or to be charged monthly okay it doesn't matter how how many hours you use the cloud server or to pay hourly okay and of course we want to choose hourly because um, we we want to pay only for what we are using okay so let me uh, break that down for you. Okay, so when you will be using the cloud server, okay, you will be charged for 0 0.049 per hour that you use the cloud server. And when the cloud server, you shut down the cloud server and you're not using it, you will be charged only 0 0.009 per hour. Okay, and that will save you at least like half of the of this price of 36 bucks because we're not using all day long in the cloud server. Okay, I'm using maybe six hour per per day uh, my cloud server some days a bit more but basically this is the best option for us because we want to be uh, to to pay as least as possible so after that you just click server okay uh, create server and that's it you're done okay now you will have here uh, the new server that you created then you, you take the details of the ip address login in and with your password and that's it is that simple okay so there you have it guys one thing before we finish i'm not saying kamatera is the best cloud server uh, or remote desktop servers uh, that uh, there is okay there are uh, plenty of different companies and i'm considering to check other companies that maybe will be better okay but right now this is uh, i'm using kamatera i'm fine with it it works great for me and I will keep using them until I will find a better solution. So guys, I hope that tutorial will really help you. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you guys and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.